Hey guys, some time ago I showed you this device. This is a battery tester from Outool and right now I just got the upgraded the new device which is called Outool um, BT860. This is how it looks. It's pretty big compared to the old one, but I believe that this is mostly mostly because of the uh, built-in printer which is over here. So, in the box you will have user manual some thermal print, uh, printing paper, as well as some quality control certificate and service card. And the device is uh, is uh, high quality, I have to say. It it feels very firm. You have large buttons which stick out, so it's um, it's easier to operate than the old uh, old one which had this kind of. Uh, flash buttons over here which are okay if you are not wearing gloves but in winter for example if you want to check the battery um, uh, which is in the car you will have some gloves on your hands and this will be much easier to operate so there's no charging ports no SD card ports for uh, software updates nothing at all uh, there's there is a, a built-in battery and as soon as we connect uh, this, uh, uh, those uh, jump leads to the battery, this should turn on. So I have a battery over here, negative here, positive here, and it's already on. You need to select if it's a 12 volt or 24 volt, 24 volt battery. So let's check 12. We have the current voltage over here. Let's press OK. And in man main menu we have some options. So we can of course check the battery, perform a cranking test. This is uh, for in-vehicle batteries, same as charge system test. We can review uh, our data which was collected before. We can change language. So let's see what's over here. We have English, Deutsch, Italiano, Francais, Espanol, Polski. Oh, that's cool. And that's Ruski, Netherlands. Okay, and we have time adjustment, that's it. Okay, let's perform the battery capacity test. Okay, select if it's a regular battery or something else. I believe this is a standard battery, so let's pick the first one. Now select what type of rating does it have, and we need to check it over here. EN with a 470 amps of cranking current. So, EN 470. Okay. And that's, that's it. It was a quick test. We have the results over here. And they are suggesting to replace this battery as um, the health calculated estimated health is about 3% right now and the charge is low 63%. I believe that if this battery was charged before the test fully, not left at this 63% over here, it will it would perform better. But okay, that's the that's the result. Now let's check if we oh, we can print the report. Yes. Okay, so let's leave it like this. And almost there. That's it. We have the results, same as on the display. Now let's test different battery, same test. So I have the EN520, EN520. Let's test it. And this one is good. Okay, I want to print out the report and let's just check, change it so I know that this is a different car and a different report. Now maybe let's uh, let's try the cranking test and let's follow the on-screen instruction. Make sure engine and all loads in off status, then press OK. Start the engine.
cranking is low as you can see voltage dropped uh, a lot i would say but i've uh, cranked the engine before the um, glow plugs went off this is a diesel engine and the fuel pump was still priming the system so i believe i could get a better result if i waited a little bit longer i waited nine seconds to be honest um, but um, let's leave it like this let's print it and let's check the um, the other test so now charge system charge system turn on all loads speed up to 10 10 20 then press enter okay so i would have to take this to the car i'm not sure if i can do this but let's start the engine first and then we will see what i can do okay i have uh, all of my lights on and the device is over here so right now let's check if i can do this bring the revs up press ok turn off all loads speed up to 250 then press ok ok so let's turn this off this off this off as well same procedure Okay. So overall, it's a very nice upgrade from the previous device. It's uh, much bigger, but still it's very easy to use. It's not too big to fit in your uh, engine compartment. And uh, it's even, uh, even better to have it in this size than in this size if you want to leave it on the in battery or on the, in the engine bay, because it will not drop down and um, of course you have the printer you have uh, those uh, nicer buttons and you have uh, those printouts over here and uh, i have to say that on the printouts you can even see the ambient temperature uh, i'm not sure if this is taken into account of when um, calculating battery health since there's a lower temperature the battery should perform a little bit worse so i'm not sure if uh, that's calculated uh, or maybe it's just an information like the time and date over here. Also worth noticing that in the Polish printout you have the all, all of the Polish special characters over here. Previous device was made, I believe, for uh, do-it-yourself, for your own garage, for your own cars. And this one is a more professional one since you have those receipts that you can give out to your customers. And um, if you want to check uh, technical specification of this device, uh, you can check it in the description below this video. Also, you will find their link to an online store if you want to get one already. If you liked this simple test and quick review, uh, give me thumbs up, uh, subscribe for future videos and see you soon.